Welcome to our new video lesson. For this video lesson, the topic will be evaluation of piecewise functions. In evaluating piecewise functions, we need to choose the piece of function to be used for a given value of x. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, we will be given a set of functions. So, it can be two or more functions. So, meron tayong dalawa, tatlo, apat, or kahit more than four pa na function. And then we will determine which particular function will be used to determine the value of x. And it will depend upon the given condition. So, it depends on the condition niya para mapili natin yung function na gagamitin para ma-determine natin yung function based on the given value of x. Example number one. So, given the piecewise function below, find h of negative 10. So, ang value of x natin dito ay negative 10. Then, given yung ating tatlong functions. So, meron tayong tatlong functions dito. We have x cubed plus 2x, 3 over 2x, 2 multiplied by quantity x plus 4 to the second power plus 10. So, yan yung ating mga functions. So, ito naman yung ating conditions. Ano yung mga conditions natin? So, ito yung nauna nating condition. Paano binabasa yung first condition natin? So, binabasa yan na x is greater than or equal to 6. So, kung yung value of x daw natin na negative 10 ay mas mataas sa 6, gagamitin natin yung x cubed plus 2x. Pero in this case, hindi. Hindi siya mas mataas sa 6 kasi negative 10 eh. Diba? Ang negative 10 is not greater than 6. Okay, pangalawa. So, we have here, x is greater than negative 5. So, yung x natin ay mas mataas sa greater, uh, negative 5 kasi ayun yung ating... Uh, symbol, inequality symbol, nandun yung uh, kanyang wide portion na katapat kay x. Yung pointed portion na katapat kay negative 5. So, x is greater than negative 5 but less than 6. So, kung i-analyze natin, yung x daw natin ay pagitan ng negative 5 at saka ng 6. Kailangan dun lang nakapaloob yung x natin. And also, meron pang another condition yan, x should not be equal to 0. So, x is not equal to 0. Hindi pwedeng maging 0 yung x natin. Kasi pag nag-0 yung x, undefined. Wala naman tayong 3 divided by 0 eh. Diba? If x will be replaced by 0 dito, so magiging undefined siya. Because that will be 3 divided by 0. Okay, so yung negative 10 ba ay nasa pagitan ng negative 5 sa kanang 6? So, hindi. Wala. So, therefore, hindi magagamit yung second function. Yung tayo sa pangatlo. So, x is less than negative 5. Mas mababa daw ba yung x natin kay negative 5? So, in this case, yes. Yung ating uh, h of negative 10, wherein x is negative 10, is less than negative 5. Kasi kung ating if we feature sa utak natin yung number line, ang negative 10 ay nasa kaliwa pa siya ng negative 5. Diba? So, mas mababa yung negative 10 kumpara sa negative 5. So, if x is less than negative 5, so, ang gagamitin nating function, yung ating third function. And then, you will just go back to evaluation of functions. Diba? So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Dahil ang x ay negative 10, at ang negative 10 ay mas mababa sa negative 5, so, we will use 2 times x plus 4 quantity raised to the second power plus 10. Balikan natin. So, ayan ang gagamitin natin. We have 2 times x plus 4 quantity raised to the second power plus 10. So, we have h of x is equal to 2 times x plus 4 to the second power plus 10. Then, we will consider h of negative 10. So, we will remove x. Lahat ng x natin dyan, tanggalin mo, palitan natin ng negative 10. So, that will be h of negative 10 is equal to 2 times negative 10 plus 4 quantity raised to the second power plus 10. So, tandaan natin yung PEMDAS. So, unahin natin yung parenthesis, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, that is negative 10 plus 4. And negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. 
and then second letter, letter E, exponent. So we will evaluate first the exponent bago tayo magmultiply. So that will be negative 6 times negative 6. So that will be 36. 2 times 36 and then copy plus 10. 2 times 36 is 72 and then plus 10. So the equivalent of h of negative 10 is 82. So therefore, h of negative 10 based on our piecewise function uh, process is equal to 82. Example number 2, so same uh, given tayo, yun nga lang, mababago yung value of x natin. So given the piecewise function below, find h of 1 half. So ang ating letter x naman ay equivalent to 1 half. Okay, saan papasok yung 1 half? Ang 1 half ba ay greater than or equal sa 6? So tagalugin natin, ang 1 half ba ay mas mataas sa 6? So hindi. Ang 1 half ba ay nasa pagitan ng negative 5 at ng 6? Yes. Ang 1 half ay nasa pagitan ng negative 5 sa kanang 6. Yes. Pangatlo, ang 1 half ba ay less than negative 5? Mas mababa ba sa negative 5 ang 1 half? No. Kasi lahat ng positive number are automatically higher than all negative number. So yung 1 half ay positive, so therefore that is higher than negative 5. So ang gagamitin natin ngayon is our second function. Okay, dahil si 1 half ay nasa pagitan ng negative 5 sa kanang 6, so we will use the h of x is equal to 3 over 2x. Okay, so again, so let's have the given function based on our piecewise function. So h of x is equal to 3 over 2x. So we will remove x and replace it with 1 half. So that will be h of 1 half is equal to 3 over 2 times 1 half. And then yung ating 2 times 1 half dito will be 2 times 1. So that is 2 divided by 2, 1. So 1 na lang yun. Kung baga, pag tinagalog natin, ilan yung dalawang kalahati? So dalawang kalahati is equal to 1 whole. So that will be 3 divided by 1. And 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. So therefore, h of 1 half is equal to 3. Then, let's have here example number 3. So, ang letter H naman natin, or H of X natin ay H of 6. So, find H of 6. Okay, so tingnan natin ang condition natin. Ang 6 ba ay greater than or equal to 6? Nasagot na yung tanong, di ba? So, dahil yung X natin ay 6, so that is equal to 6. So, therefore, we will use the first function. So, gagamitin natin si first function, which is X cubed plus 2x. Okay, rewrite lang tayo. So, let's have your h of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x. Ang ating value of x is 6. So, remove x and replace it with 6. So, we have h of 6 is equal to 6 to the third power plus 2 times 6. And, ang ibig sabihin ng 6 to the third power natin, or 6 cube, ay 6 times 6 times 6. Imumultiply natin yung 6 ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. So, that will be 216. And then, 2 times 6, 12. So, 216 plus 12, that is equal to 228. So, ang ating h of 6 using the piecewise function is 220. Okay, now for our practice problem. So, let's have her given the piecewise function below. Find f of negative 8. So, ang una nyo lang i-identify, yung negative 8 ba ay greater than or equal to 10? Yung negative 8 ba ay nasa pagitan ng negative 8 sa kanang 10? O yung negative 8 ba ay less than or equal to negative 8? So, pag na-identify mo na kung saan papasok yung negative 8 dyan sa tatlo na yan, kukunin mo yung corresponding function dito naman sa ating set of piecewise functions. Okay, so this will be for our practice problem. So, comment down your answer in our comment box. And that will be all for this video lesson. So, see you on the next video.